Thank you, Lord. Welcome to Poland, one of the stops on our four country hunt. First off, you are absolutely gonna enjoy the culture. It's pretty amazing. And if you like to travel and hunt or just vacation and want to throw a hunt in on the deal, this is a great place to do that. Hunting the road deer in Poland has been a very different experience. They're a very elusive small animal. Hard to find, hard to hunt. My name's Colorado. I've been hunting my whole life. Guiding, outfitting, and hunting. Where in the world? 30 years now, I've made my living outdoors. Somewhere in the outback. We're in Mongolia. Hello, Argentina. Right on the El Bicho. Red Square, Moscow, Russia. Howdy, Colorado. Welcome to New Zealand. Where in the world? I just love it so much. I'm gonna keep on loving it if it don't kill me. If I had it my way, I take the whole world home. That's pretty cool. I mean, it ain't exactly old glory, Texas. But <laughs> so this is a, this is an old city, old town, old city, yeah. So this is a square in the old town, yeah. old town city square. All right. You guys better jump up and do some two-stepping. We got a wood floor right here. Get after it. <laughs> Is that a souvenir shop? What does that have to do to me? Oh, it's a drugstore. The country of Poland, that's where and where we are this week. And when you think about traveling around the world and going hunting, you don't think about Poland. What we have done in this trip is that we have been choosing one uh, animal, a special animal for each country. Uh, in Hungary, for example, we are going for the red stag. In Czech Republic, we go for the fallow stag. In um, Austria, we go for the mouflon. And in Poland, we go for the, the roe deer. Four countries with different species of animals in Europe is something I've not seen anywhere else. I've not seen anyone else advertise it. Scandinavian Pro Hunters has done a lot of tours in uh, Europe. We are sending quite a lot of hunters all around Europe. But we have never done it with an American group before. Okay. Okay. You go ahead, you start. Yeah. My name is Gordy. Well, You're supposed you... to say my name is Brenda. No, We're no, from... my name is Gordy. My name is Stan Zell. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Richard Varley, Las Vegas, Nevada. But of course, you're very welcome here uh, as a single hunter or if you want to come as a couple. Well, you got to say your name is Brenda and I'll go Gordy. But I'm going to be Gordy. And on this trip, I came with my husband. He's the hunter. I'm the observer. And I'm so happy I came. There's so much to do here, um, even a non-hunter. I think it's neat to just mix this stuff up, right? You go on a hunting trip for this trip, and then you get to mix in a little bit of how many times you're going to be over here, right? Just go check it out while you can. About five or six years ago, I was flipping television channels one Sunday afternoon and I landed on a hunting show, and here's this uh, blonde-haired fellow with a big smile, and he's saying funny things like, we go now. <laughs> it's a Piwanicky Swidenikara. And I found it very interesting in that he was going to different locations around the world. It wasn't the same boring thing, and as I I uh, became a regular viewer. I also really liked uh, the values that Colorado was putting forth in his show. Oh, there's J-Man's Legos. Jacob, look at here. Daddy might try to bring some of them home to you for you. I don't know how I'm gonna get them back on plane, but I'm thinking about you. This is the first time I've actually hunted with Colorado. Uh, and after spending two weeks with him now, on the road, I can tell you that the guy you see on TV is real. He's the same guy you'll sit down, have dinner with, and it does always sound from the regular guys club. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're an athlete or a professional hunter or a regular guy, he's the same person with you. He's very personable and, and he's a lot of fun to be in camp with. This is where you get in there and go, okay, here's your bill. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, we're now in Poland and with Scandinavian pro hunters and Colorado buck and we get to, we're going to hunt the roe deer. 
to get this party started. You know, a lot of this, you look at these fields, they've got, they've got agricultural type food. They aren't food plots, but they serve as a food plot when you're hunting. And it, and it reminds me a lot more back of, say, the, maybe the Midwest, wherever you got farming belts. And what we've been doing is going to the edges. These will go through the trees, a lot of forestry over here. In other words, they plant these trees. You know, some people raise crops, some people raise trees and cattle, just, just like they do back in the state. So the hunting methods, here spot and stalk. They also have blinds and stuff set up all down these fields. So when you come out here and hunt, it's not a lot different than hunting whitetail back home. I was fortunate enough today to uh, come upon a really nice roebuck, an old roebuck. Scandinavian pro hunters uh, have been excellent on this trip. In fact, I'm already thinking about my next trip with them. Uh, all of the details of the trip have been taken care of and they're not just so-so, it's been excellent. Let's see how it's about. I've hunted a lot of places around the world and this four country European hunt has been one of the best experiences. And the nice thing with all uh, those countries is, in Europe, it's not so far between the countries. Hey, this is really a great opportunity to take uh, some species that are not uh, native to North America and to hunt them in their native habitat uh, was, uh, personally for me, was very rewarding. And I was looking forward to it, and it's been everything I would hoped it would be. And I certainly would love to come back, but I would come as a hunter because it's just been such a great experience to follow along and be included and watch and... That is beautiful. Yeah. That is beautiful. Yes, sir. Good job. Now, Brenda, how much did he pay you to tell everybody that he shot it? <laughs> how far was it? Thank you. How far was it? Uh, 171. Anyone that comes over here, first off, you are absolutely gonna enjoy the culture in this, this this medieval architecture in and around all the little towns and the cities. Obviously, it's, it's the old world, right? Uh, the variety of cultures, food, the differences in the guides and the game we've hunted uh, has really been a lot of fun. It, it's pretty amazing. And if you like to travel and hunt or just vacation and want to throw a hunt in on the deal, this is a great place to do that. Follow Colorado Buck and all his adventures on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Where in the World is Colorado Buck? I'm allergic to cities. <laughs> yeah, he goes, me too. <laughs> me too, I'm more for the hunt.
any hunter that's honest with you would tell you when you're traveling and hunting that it's really the guys and outfitters that, that make the hunt. Uh, the guys on the ground that know the area and do their homework before you get there, they're really a huge part of the hunt. And I can say that the guys here have been very good. And even though there are some language differences, uh, we've been able to communicate with them. They have put us on animals and they've shown a commitment to that that has been excellent. We are all. Even though there's there's language barriers, a lot of a lot of when you're hunting, you're hunting, and it doesn't matter where that you might be when you're hunting. There's there's kind of universal signs or languages, if you will. One of them, and no matter where you're at, if you just kind of mirror your guide, what he's doing. If he moves over on the side of the road to get out of the rocks where it's a little bit quieter in the grass, move over behind him. And if you see somebody doing this, which I noticed him right off of meaning, slow down and watch where you're walking and don't guide the guide. So because there was a communication gap, which we've had a lot of fun with, I told him, I tried to teach him two things in a couple different languages and stuff. So I said, hey, why don't, if you got to learn two things, good, meaning the trophy, good and shoot, good, shoot. So finally he did, and then, bueno. Poland and in this particular area of Poland they hunt a lot of these so and I've hunted road deer before in England and Scotland different place Sweden different places but you know the, the thing is we're in Poland right and, and I, I've never been able to go to Poland and hunt Poland before so it doesn't matter where you go there's sometimes the same animal can be a completely 100% different way to, to hunt them and this here's all spot and stalk and it reminds you a lot of how you'd hunt maybe in the Midwest for whitetails, but it's Poland and it's robust.
I, I, if it was just me, I wouldn't have taken this animal thinking it was young. Well, the guide said, yeah, it's good. It's good shoot, good shoot. So I said, sure, you're sure. And, yep, good shoot. So then we get over and find out that the animal's six, maybe seven years old. And again, I'm hunting an area I've not hunted. I'm looking at the antlers. The antlers don't always indicate the age, but those bases or coronets, as they call them over here in Europe, is that is a good indicator. And again, if you look at his teeth, you can tell that this, in fact, was a was an older animal. But listen to your guide. That's their job. You look at this, and you're looking just like I do. Most people's going to look at the beam length and the forks and determine how old this animal is. Well, it, that's not how you tell. If if you look as I mentioned before, at the cornet, which is, we call it a base back in the state, but this is called a, also a cornet. And as soon as he looks at it, he says, very good, this animal's about seven years old. About seven, seven six, years? Uh, six, seven. Six, seven years old. So it's a great, great, it's a mature animal, great one to take, and that's just the trophy quality you get in this area. But the fact is, you're in Poland, you're hunting, you're experiencing all it's like going to Baskin Robbins, right? You get to taste a little bit of every bit of ice cream that they got. We'll go to three or four or five countries. We'll come over and we'll just go country to country to country to country. And we've been inviting people to go along with us. And if it's something that you think you might be interested in, we would love to hear from you. Go to my website, heycoloradobuck.com, and I hope to see you on our next European tour. Staying at this location has just been incredible. We've never had a hunting lodge quite like this. It's absolutely astounding. It's, it's just uh, got to be one of the nicest places in the world. world yeah, world class and one of the nicest places in the world. All right, so you do this. This is like, a, I guess, a tradition in Poland. This is what you do with animals. And, and this is a Polish tuck. So I'm, I'm trying to whip away a mosquito. And he goes, no, no, put it in your hat. I said, my hat. And he, he's like, yeah, this is a Polish tuck, right? See, I told you. A Polish tuck. Let me get my Polish tuck for pictures, yeah? That it? Robin Hood. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. That is it from Poland. I do hope you enjoyed the show. If you're interested in joining us for the 2019 European Tour, go to my website, heycoloradobuck.com. Thanks again for joining us. Until next week, God bless each and every one of you, and good hunting. Welcome to Hungary. The backdrop for today's show is the country of Hungary. We've traveled over here to hunt one of the most popular European animals that there is, the red stag. And we're at the end of the roar. We've got our challenges set out for us because we've got a warm season that's warmer than normal and we've got a full moon. But still, this is where we are and we're looking forward to a traditional European style red stag hunt. I hope you enjoy the show. That's a good hunt. That's a good hunt. Close captioning provided by Rocky Top Outfitters. Book your hunt with Colorado today at heycoloradobuck.com. We'll see you on the hunt.